Hi, my name is Sasha, and today I'm going to show you what I've created with the Feather Place Master Crafter Kit in Natural. Okay, so this mask I called the Ballerina Mask. I love this mask, and honestly, I think it might be the first feather mask I've ever made. But I did know some tips and tricks, and one is to trim your feathers. That really helps to mold and shape it to the mask form. And two, to use contrasts of colors, make your colors pop, use those patterns to your benefit. So I loved using the guinea feathers. I didn't plan super well what the mask was going to be, but with feathers, it's cool that you can just keep layering and it will all kind of work out. One thing that I found that I really liked doing was taking these turkey feathers and trimming them down. I saved uh, what I trimmed of course because you might need it in the future but I got rid of the marabou and just kept the flat part and that really helped make the mask look like I don't know very chic. Then I used the peacock swords to outline the eyes. At first I was thinking that I would use the peacock swords as eyebrows but then I thought I'm gonna use these as eyelashes and like weird whiskers and I just really like how it turned out the next mask I made, I'm calling the moth mask. I wanted to try my hand at manipulating the mask before even adding feathers to it. So for this, I just made the eye holes bigger. I had a little bit better idea of what I wanted it to look like. I had everything kind of mapped out before I started gluing. And also the same kind of idea of like using color, lighter colors against darker colors to help make it pop. I love this palette, pretty browns and creams. This time I used the peacock swords as antennas and the pheasant as eyebrows, this glitter trim as eyeliner, and then of course my favorite, these turkey flat to finish it off. Another tip that I learned watching another Feather Place video with mini crafter Sophia, I don't know how many times I've burned my fingers, but using your scissors or a pencil or something else other than your finger when you're hot gluing is very smart, so thank you Sophia. Next, I tried my hand at some floral arrangement. Just by using some paper, I made a square and then cut it into two triangles. And then I accordioned the paper, glued it together. It makes this like really cool, easy leaf pattern. And I used some wooden skewers to attach it to. Again, I just really love this natural palette and it comes with so many feathers that even after all these projects, I have so much left over. It's incredible. Next, I dove into these mini masks that the kit comes with. I'm calling it the fortune teller mask. I decided to custom color my paint to match the feather and paint it on different suits like a deck of cards. I also made this little headdress for her and one of my new favorite things to do is to curl and shape biot feathers. They're so like interesting once you curl them and they look so spiky and weird and I really love them. Also as far as curling your feathers and shaping your feathers on the back of these packages there's a couple tips on how to do that and that's really helpful too. Then I added some hair to her and then I thought I want to wear her on my head. So I added a headband and voila. Next, this really was a cool surprise. I was thinking, okay, I wanna do some jewelry with this kit. And so I just jumped in with doing some earrings. So I took this flashing that it comes with and some peacock quills. I just folded it in half and added a ring through it. And then I took the chenille yarn that it comes with and just wrapped it around and glued and wrapped it around and glued. And that was it. I added some um, earring posts. I really like the length of these earrings. They have like a huge impact and they're also super lightweight. I love them. Thanks so much for watching and please like and subscribe for more Feather Place videos. Happy crafting!